All right, my flight controller, uh, Multi Wii Pro, uh, came in the mail today. I already opened the box, so he won't be uh, getting any unboxing video. But it's just just fresh out of the box. I don't see any damage or anything. They both came in a bunch of protect protective bubble wrap, and both in the same mailing container. Uh, both by meaning by this is. Uh, two modules one is a wait a minute there's I don't know what's going on there must be three modules this is a beeper for low batteries in this pack and this is the multi we looks like there's hopefully another module in there with it okay that's a close up of it there's a size comparison it's pretty small this is the GPS module. It's really tiny and while it doesn't weigh hardly anything. And this is the flight controller module. It's also really small, which is a good thing. Came with all these patch cords and it came with uh, a USB cable. And this is a low battery indicator. Uh, beeps and flashes and you hook it up to the battery balance cable okay I got the first of the wiring hooked up uh, on the module these are all motor control wires they run to the electronic speed controller and it in the, that in, in, turn, in turn runs the motors out here uh, let me see what else we got. Oh, this is a GPS module. It's hooked up. It's in its port up here. Uh, there's a little barometer or whatever it is sitting right there with a little hole, pinhole, and I got to cover that with something that's permeable but dark. Then this is my battery flasher buzzer. What I'm hoping to do is mount this unit is far forward on the body. This is the front now, this way. Far forward uh, as possible. And on this, this isn't going to mount anywhere in particular. Then I'm going to hope to mount this GPS back over on this side. And then hopefully the battery, if it's small enough, will lay right in here. And we'll worry about the transmitter and the receiver later. But, uh, as far as I can tell, it's going to go really good. It's real light. This thing can't weigh more than a few grams. And it's added absolutely almost nothing to the weight of the copter as it sits. So I'm not really worried about it flying. I think it's going to fly pretty well. Okay, one of the things you got to do when you get these multi-wee boards is you got to cover the barometer or whatever it is, I'm not sure which it is. I think it's a barometer. It's got a little hole in it, a little port, and it's got a little tiny device sitting there. And you got to cover that hole with something dark. They they recommend you use foam. Okay, well, what if you don't have any black open cell foam? Well, you got to make something else work. So that's what I did. I took this uh, felt pads and I put the little tiny dot. I stuck the sticky side to the sticky side of the bigger dot and then I just took the big dot and used the, all the extra sticky around the outside to hold the little pad, the felt side, down onto the barometer. So, no must, no fuss, hopefully it works. Never know until you try. Okay, moving right along with the bill, uh, I got my my uh, multi Wii Pro module mounted on my frame now and I, I didn't put it real hard and tight because I didn't want any vibrations going from here to here uh, so I put a foam closed cell foam underneath it and anchored it with these four 440 volts and computer nuts and I'm thinking that's going to work just fine Now it's all I gotta do is come up with some kind of a mount for this. That's my GPS unit. I was thinking about making a little pole and mounting it up on top of the pole. 
so I got a hole right here that I'm not going to be using so I don't know we'll see okay I've completed the next step which is putting the Wii multi Wii Pro module on uh, I chose simplicity I just basically I just put a big bat closed cell phone pad underneath it and tighten four or nuts and bolts down with Loctite on them it's a little it's it's not real tight but it's not loose so I think that I help kill vibrations big time in the module now that's all I gotta do is come up with a mount for this my GPS uh, I'll be working on that next, probably. Oh, by the way, it's still really, really light. I mean, damn, this thing's like less than a pound. So, I'm happy so far. We get them batteries on there. It'll, I'm sure it'll still, it'll fly. It'll fly well. What I did for the GPS, finally, is, uh, unit I decided to mount it up higher than the rest of the craft and uh, it's in a closed cell foam in case I mean it's encased in there I cut a slit in it and just slid it right in it holds it really well and this is hot glued to the frame I, I, I can't see it coming loose I can pick the damn thing up with it so I mean, literally, I can pick it up off the table and hold it. So I don't think that's going to come loose just from flying. And uh, it's, it's moving right along. This battery, light pole battery is going to fit right in here. I measured this space and I looked at the dimensions on the internet and it turns out that's perfect. It's going to slide right in there. And I, uh, it heads up just as... Uh, depending on how big the radio receiver is I might go ahead and slice another slice into this thing and if it's small enough I'll fit it right in there too so I'll have a dual purpose mount it'll have a receiver on the lower part and a GPS on the top but that's all speculative I don't know might come down to the fact I might have to make it a different shape or size and pull that one off and put a new one on but either way I think I'm gonna have both of them mounted in there 